Hi, my name is Jim Kurtz and I am the Senior Farm Consultant for Harvest Harmonics. And in this short presentation, I'm gonna share with you a breakthrough in plant research that is taking the agricultural world by storm. In fact, this breakthrough is so revolutionary, it will change the way agriculture is being done in the next five to 10 years. So let me show you what this is all about. The future of farming has to do with energy. Currently, farming industry has been really focused on using chemistry and chemicals to solve the problems that the farmer has. To solve insect problems, you have pesticides. To solve growth rate or lack of nutrients in the soil, you have chemical fertilizers. To solve weather problems or other things, you might have other amendments. But in the future, we're gonna be handling these problems directly by directly boosting the energy output of the plant and making it more resilient to these stresses so that you don't have the problems in the first place. Harvest Harmonics is the international distributor of the Crop Booster by Cuminosity Plants technology, which improves the energy production of the plant and makes it more resilient to the stress factors in the normal agricultural settings. Harvest Harmonics' mission is to help farmers increase their yields and improve the quality of the fruits and vegetables that they're growing while lowering their input costs and having a more sustainable solution for many years to come. Now, plants with more energy grow faster and stronger. They produce more fruits and vegetables. They produce higher quality fruits and vegetables. They resist insects and other pests. They feed soil microbiology to make a more sustainable soil and food supply. And they're more resilient to weather and other stress factors. Now, hopefully none of these things should surprise you. The question is, how do we boost the energy in the plant? Well, the answer to that question is through biophysics. Now, biophysics is based upon the fact that the biological systems of all plants are coordinated according to specific frequency patterns. This allows them to produce and use energy more efficiently. Now again, most of the farming community for the last 70 to 80 years has really focused on how do we improve the available nutrients and water and just give the plants the things they need and hope that the natural processes in the plant will take over and you'll have a good crop. Now, while that's been very effective, it also has certain drawbacks. Number one, the overuse of certain chemicals has depleted the soil's fertility, which requires more and more fertilizer. It's also creating instances where insects and other pests are becoming resistant to the chemicals that we're using to combat them, and you have to continue to use different types of chemicals. And thirdly, of course, the use of chemicals is not really that healthy for human consumption over time, nor is it really healthy for the environment. So when we look at the photosynthesis process in the picture on the right here, we notice that the photosynthesis or how a plant generates energy can be quite a complicated scenario. The plant has to absorb water and nutrients through the root system, transport those water and nutrients through the plant and up into the leaves, absorb carbon dioxide through the leaves, and utilize sunlight to recombine the chemicals that we're giving it into usable forms or glucose molecules. And that in turn is converted into cells and fruits and vegetables. Quite a complicated process for a relatively simple organism. And the question is, well, how do we make all of those processes in the plant more efficient so that the plant can produce more energy? And how do we get it more efficient so that the plants can do all that with less inputs and less chemicals? That is exactly what the crop booster technology is all about. Now, Mr. Fulvio Baumelli, who invented this technology, has been using this biophysical method to treat human beings of a variety of diseases for over 30 years now. And when he discovered that the reason why people were getting sick in the first place had primarily to do with the fact that the nutritional quality of the fruits and vegetables we're eating had begun to deteriorate back in the 1980s and 90s. And the water quality as well had also deteriorated. So he began to focus his research on plants in an effort to make plants and the fruits and vegetables that we eat much, much healthier. Now, in his research, Mr. Baumelli studied thousands of varieties of plants, everything from flowers to grasses to row crops to trees. And he discovered that all healthy plants, no matter what the variety, had energy output patterns that were very consistent and organized. 
In fact, when he plotted them out on his on his equipment, he noticed that these waves of those energy that the plant was giving off was very organized and very consistent. Now, when he looked at unhealthy plants of the same varieties, he noticed that the energy output of those plants through photosynthesis was very disorganized and very distorted. In fact, when it gets distorted over a long enough period of time, like you see in the picture on the right here, you'll see the plant begin to wither and start to die. Now, Mr. Baumelli theorized that if he could just take the healthy frequency patterns and, and restore those natural energy output patterns to unhealthy or stressed plants, that he'd be able to bring them back to a state of vigor and health. And in fact, over many experiments, he proved that he could do just that. Just by introducing the correct frequency patterns through biofeedback loops in his research, he brought very unhealthy plants back to a state of health and vigor. Now, in a less dramatic example, what's happening in terms of the plants themselves are on a regular farm, we're looking at plants that are subjected to various stresses during the course of the season. Sometimes you may get a cold snap or it gets very cold or you'll have hail or something like that. Sometimes it gets extremely hot for long periods of time in the summertime where the plant can no longer hold on to the water and nutrients that it has. Sometimes you have insects or funguses or other problems that are always causing changes in the plant's environment. Now our standard practice is to be reactive. In other words, we see the plant looking like it's got heat stress, we, get, we give it more water. If it looks like the, the plants need more nitrogen or need some other minerals, then we give it those extra fertility so that the plant has what it needs. But these are all reactive approaches. And the problem with being reactive is that once the plant is stressed, it can take days or even weeks for that plant to recover its full energy production through photosynthesis. Now, these different stress factors reduce the metabolism, growth rate, and overall yield during the course of the season. So if you look back and wonder why some years you had a really great year and other years you had a really horrible year, a lot of it has to do with the fact that the amount of stress that these plants were subjected to in those bad years were preventing the plants from producing the fruits and vegetables they should. Now, our approach is much more proactive, meaning we want to prevent the plant from being stressed in the first place. We want to make the plant more resilient against these stress factors so that it continues a very consistent organized energy production throughout the whole season. And that will dramatically increase the energy produced by the plants through photosynthesis, which in turn will give you a much more consistent yield. It will make farming a lot easier, trust me. So how do we deliver this technology? That's the next question. So the technical aspect is great, but how do we actually deliver this on a farm? We've incorporated small microtransmitters, which look like small watch batteries. They're very small, but we programmed these with enough information to completely reverse all the biological systems in the plants. In fact, there's over 3,000 unique programs that deal with all the different aspects of plant health that enable the Kiminasi crop booster technology to maintain an, a resilient plant that can continue to produce energy no matter what the environment is. And these transmitters are installed onto a farmer's irrigation system. Now for large farms, for farms, let's say 10 acres or more, that go all the way up to maybe 500 acres per irrigation system, we have transmitters that get installed right at the pump or water source, and we just water the whole field. Our technology will be able to treat that water and give the plants the proper signaling to keep them healthy throughout the season. In smaller farms, like you see on the picture on the right here, we would have pre-made pipe fittings that could be installed right into a farmer's irrigation system. And we can go all the way down as small as a garden and all the way up as large as 500 acre pivots and everything in between. Now the Kimonasi crop booster technology improves two key areas of plant health. First is we dramatically increase photosynthesis efficiency in plants. And we keep that photosynthesis process active in the plant so that the plant will continue to produce energy throughout the whole season. The second key factor is we help improve soil health by improving microbial activity in the soil. The overuse of chemicals in modern agriculture has dramatically reduced the effectiveness and efficiency of, of soil-borne microbes, which are nature's way of taking nitrogen and carbon out of the air and making them available to the plant. Kimonasi plant booster technology helps to reinvigorate these microbes so that they continue to sequester that carbon and nitrogen out of the air, which will in turn reduce your need for additional fertility. Now with better photosynthesis, we see greater growth and vigor, we see greater production, and we see better quality. 
I'm going to run through a few examples here, but if you'd like, you can always go back to the person who introduced you to us and or go to our website at Harvest Harmonics and really read up on all the information if you like. We see things like double the growth rate on dragon fruit here in this nursery. The reduction of fungus from, that was killing 30% of their production in this coffee plantation reduced it to zero in less than two months. Doubling the production of turmeric on the small farm in Puerto Rico. Increasing the growth and vigor by 35% on corn in Colombia. 100% faster growth rate on citrus seedlings in California. 30% more root development and 30% more vigor on these grapevines in Chile, with a corresponding improvement in nutrient absorption as well. A reduction of nematodes, hydralian fungi, and rice in Ecuador, with a corresponding increase in overall fresh weight as well. Improved growth and vigor on strawberries in Ecuador. Disease resistance that killed off all of the untreated plant, tomato plants in Washington. All of our plants survived and helped that farmer get a good crop out. Improvement in root development and resistance to insects and other uh, pathogens in these lemon trees in Peru. Improved disease resistance and reduction of insects on indoor plants here in the United States. A regrowth of plants after 60 days of being left in the snow on this uh, terrace in Italy. Better drought resistance of 30% less water available and still we got a 75% yield increase on grapes in Peru. A reduced mite infestation from 48% down to less than 10% of the vines using Kiminos. And here's the agronomist report on that particular trial. We have more vigorous growth and a better overall yield on squash in, in Washington. Fewer nematodes and 27% increase in yield on artichokes. Uh, reviving grass after just 14 days of application here on this soccer field in Peru. Better cherry, cherry production here where we got an improvement in cherry production over a four month period where we see the difference between going from seedling all the way to full canopy in just four months. Reduction of hail or improvement of hail tolerance to broccoli where our plants just kept going and the other, the other fields lost two weeks of time. So if you have a certain time uh, mechanism that you have to hit, those weather patterns can dramatically throw those timetables off and you can lose a lot of money on that. Humanosity crop booster will help you reduce that. When you're talking about just straight increases in yield, we have 25% on melons here, 49% on asparagus, 815% higher uh, corn ear weight on corn, 273% <clears throat> more bunch weight with larger berries in Morocco on these uh, grapes. We have watermelons with a 26.7% increase in yield on watermelons on a university trial in Peru, 32% increase on potato production in Bolivia, 100% improvement on lentil production in India, 165% increase in yield on Thompson grapes in Chile, 97% uh, on peppers, and on and on and on. I mean, I can go through all 150 or 200 case studies if you like, but the bottom line is every crop we've tested this on in every region, every type of situation, the Kiminasi crop booster, because of its ability to dramatically increase the energy production in, in fruits and vegetables, is going to not only increase the yield, but it will improve quality, it will improve stamina, it will improve resistance to pathogens, and a number of different things. The bottom line is just by increasing the energy production of the plant, we can achieve quite, a, quite miraculous results. And at the end of the day, kind of results that we're really interested in is what kind of results we show you on your farm. We know that some of these numbers may seem magical to you or completely out of reality, but these are some of the examples that we routinely see day in and day out. And ultimately, for you to really know what kind of benefit you're going to see on your farm, you need to try this yourself. So we want to work with you to set up either your entire farm, or if you'd just like to start with a small area and test that first, either way is totally fine with us. So do us a favor and do yourself a favor. Contact the person who hooked you up with us, contact the person who sent this video to you and schedule a time where we can discuss your farm and your needs and how to best help you so that you can become part of the future of farming today.